What's up travelers, SJ, Aviation HQ here, welcome back to another video, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing the model review of the China Airlines Cargo Bone 777 freighted by Gemini Jets in one to one scale. This model was re released um, in the April 2021 release by Gemini Jets and is, apps and is released in the new mold by Gemini Jets in terms of their freighters. Um, so before we go ahead and check out the box and uh, start the re actual review itself, I'm going to be reading out some information about um, the airline of China Airlines and also some information about the aircraft itself. So before I go ahead and read out the, the information, I just want to um, let you guys know there wasn't really that much information about China Airlines Cargo, um, the cargo uh, version of the airline, but I did, did find a lot of, of information about China Airlines themselves. So I want to... I'll, so the information will be about China Airlines themselves. So China Airlines is the state-owned national carrier of the Republic of China, otherwise known as Taiwan or, Ch or Chinese Taipei. And it's one of the two major Taiwanese airlines alongside uh, EVA Airways. Headquartered in Taipei's Taoyuan International Airport, China Airlines was founded on September 7, 1959 and commenced operations on this on December 16th of the same year that of that being 1959 the airline operates to 102 cities across Asia Europe North America and Oceania um, and according to the flight, flight matrix on the aviation website uh, planspotters.net China Airlines has a total of 87 aircraft in its fleet including three of the Boeing 777 freighters which, op which is operating for China Airlines cargo China Airlines, the, pa the passenger air airline, uh, joined the SkyTeam Alliance on uh, September the 28th, 2011. So with that out of the way, I'm going to read out some information about the aircraft. So the MSN number of this aircraft, or the manufacturer serial number, is 66890. This aircraft's line number is 1679. This aircraft is a Boeing 777 freighter, which is basically the cargo version of the passenger aircraft uh, 777-200LR, uh, LR um, standing for long range, so the aircraft can effectively be called the, the 777-200LRF uh, long range freighter. Um, it has, it's basically uh, all, the, all the, the lengths and the, the wingspan is the same, the engines are the same, it's just the fact that it's a freighter. Um, and yeah, that's basically the only, only differences about it. So the flight, the first flight of this particular, of this particular aircraft was on November 24, 2020. As of today, which is uh, June the 28th of, of 2021, this aircraft um, is uh, 0.6 years old. This aircraft was built and produced at Everett Painfield in uh, Washington, USA, and its airframe is currently active. The registration of this aircraft is Bravo-18771. Again, this aircraft is a Boeing 777 freighter. This aircraft was uh, delivered to China Airlines Cargo on November 30th, 2020. This aircraft is equipped with two General Electric GE-90110 Bravo-1 engines, or the, the engine can also be, uh, be called the GE-90115 Bravo engine, the second largest aircraft in the world. Um, now second to uh, uh, second only to the triple seven dash nine X's engine, which of course is the Boeing, sorry the GE nine X. Uh, this aircraft was ferried between Painfield and um, Taipei, Taoyuan International Airport between the thirtieth and uh, December the first. So that was the thirtieth of November and the and December the first first of two thousand and twenty, on its delivery flight. Just a, little, just a bit of a, of a fun fact before we go ahead and check out the box, which you can see in front of you. This aircraft um, operated, op operated its first service between uh, Taipei and Christchurch New in New Zealand as China Airlines Flight 6109 and 6110 on, on the 22nd of December of 2020. The reason why I find that um, quite interesting is, is the fact that Christchurch International Airport is my home's international airport. Um, it's it's, it's um, my closest international airport. Of course, I don't I don't, I don't live in Christchurch anymore, but um, yeah, uh, it's very very nice to have a model in my collection that uh, operated to my international airport at its first inaugural service. 
So very nice um, information about that. So um, now that we've read, I've read out all the information about the airline, the aircraft. Let's go ahead and check out the box. So here we have a pretty a pretty standard Gemini Jets box and and anything. Here we have the Gemini Jets logo. One of the slogans for Gemini Jets made for collectors uh, by collectors. Here we have the 2D rendering of the aircraft in this wonderful livery. I'll give I'll give some information about the cargo, um, the typeface there uh, later on in the video. Here we have the look inside tab. One thing, one cool thing about the the Gemini Jets box is if you lift up the lid, you can see the you can see the model. Here we have the triple zero freighter trademark titles, and here we have the China Airlines cargo uh, typeface. Uh, or logo itself. Again, I'll give you some information about the the cargo typeface uh, when you're look, looking at the model. And here we have the scale of the aircraft, one to hundred scale. On the bottom panel, we have the Gemini Jets logo, and the one it's a one to hundred scale, and some information about uh, what Gemini Jets do. Here we have on the on the right hand panel, we have the um, Gemini Jets logo and the Item number below the scale, which is a GJCAL1984, and here we have the aircraft and the aircraft's um, type. On the top panel, we have the again the Gemini Jets logo, but on this side we have the warning information and the barcode with the item number on it, and here we have the this side is basically identical to the other side. On the bottom panel, we have the aircraft here uh, in a steep climb. The Gemini Jets logo again here. There's some information about what Gemini Jets do. If you want to pause that and, have, and check that out, you can do so. Um, and here we have some information about what uh, the Gemini Jets uh, social media handles, their website, uh, their Facebook page, Instagram, and their Twitter. And then some some warning information, uh, the trademark information, and then the the um, this aircraft was a 2021 release so that's basically the information about the box and the aircraft so without further ado let's go ahead and check out the model and here we have the absolutely stunning china airlines cargo bone 777 freighter in the new, new mold by gemini jets it went to find a scale this model game was released in the i believe it was the the may release or uh, the june release but one one of the recent releases anyway um I believe, yeah, I believe it was the April release, to be honest. Um, and it was alongside the um the Royal Jordanian 787-8, which I mentioned earlier. Um, so now what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a in-depth review from left to right, nose to tail, uh, showing you all the different aspects of the aircraft and giving you some information along the way. So let's go ahead and check out the model. So starting off at the front here of the aircraft, um, here we have. Just here we have the nose cone. Underneath that would be the weather radar, the instrument on board the aircraft, which uh, indicates that to the pilots whether they're going to be going through any rough weather, um, or whether that, whether they can make a decision to uh, proceed on the on the route that they're on, or whether they they have to uh, go around any um, rough weather in the in the atmosphere. Um, so uh, moving on, we have just at the end of the pointer here, we have the window wipers underneath the windshield of the cockpit. Um, it, it, above those uh, window wipers, we have the actual win window shields of the of the cockpit windows. Very very nice. Uh, at the here we have the L one L one boarding door. Of course, there's only one boarding door on this aircraft. I, I believe there's one on the, on the other side as well, which we'll check out in a moment. But th this is really the only air only door that uh, the the pilots or the people can actually um, board the aircraft. Of course, this isn't a, this isn't a passenger aircraft, so um, only the only only the pilots, um, the three pilots that are on board the aircraft at any one time can um, can uh, actually board the aircraft. So underneath the aircraft here, on the fuselage, we have the nose gear door with the registration on on the nose gear door again. Um, next uh, to the right of the uh, L1 door, we have the registration again, Bravo-18771, and underneath the, the nose gear door, we have the actual uh, nose gear itself. On top of the fuselage, we have the beacon light 
the red antiquation anti beacon light and down um, here we have the first antenna on, on top of the aircraft. Here we have the ch the uh, China Airlines cargo the cargo typeface. One fun fact about this about this um, this the the typeface here. Um, when I first saw the um, the cargo painted uh, on the aircraft, I thought that they absolutely messed up the in the interior of the sea. But really, if, if for these people that don't uh, know what uh, what's inside the sea, but here we have the the map outline of the island of Taiwan which is where this aircraft is based in um, the reason why they did this is, is so that people don't mistake China Airlines being from China even though it is that Taiwan is technically called the Republic of China it is very much different to the People's Republic of China so th that's basically the reason why they they decided to to do that i i actually think that's actually pretty cool you know um it gives a bit uh, gives some some character to the rest of the bit of the billboard titles um yeah very, very nicely done uh I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of that so moving down we have just here we have the landing the landing light on the wing and then moving down the aircraft we have the goliath ge90 engine on this side of the aircraft is here um, I'll show. You, I'll, I'll be showing the in, the intakes of the engines uh, later on in, in the review, so uh, do stay in tune for that. Underneath the wing here, you may be able to see at the in, at the just here we have the um the uh, the uh, the landing gear, the the tri bogey of the triple seven. Very nicely done. So and moving down to the wing, just go, giving you an overview of the wing here. Just at the end, we have the uh, the right wing tip of the triple seven triple seven freight of course again this aircraft is based from uh, the triple seven uh, 200 LR which is uh, the uh, LR meaning a long range so again this aircraft could basically be basically be, be called the Boeing triple seven 200 LR F long range freighter um, yeah and the, the right wind tips are also on the triple seven the 300 ER uh, variant which is the now the sh the second longest um, variant of the triple seven um, uh, second only to the uh, the triple seven dash nine X which now um, is um, an, an operating aircraft and not certified yet but it is it is it has technically um, rolled out, rolled out and now is the longest aircraft in in the world for uh, passenger aircraft that is and and just on that note uh, in the middle. Uh, right here we have the uh, the red navigation light. Here I believe is the strobe light, and here is the actual right wing tip itself. Very ni nicely done, uh, nicely d done detailed of, of of this aircraft. Um, this is in a, an excellent mold. Uh, so moving down the aircraft, just gi giving you a nice uh, look of the tail fin. Just let me uh, uh low lower the the camera just for you so here so there we have the uh, the cargo door this is uh, really the only cargo door that this aircraft has of course unlike the bone uh, 747 freighter the the nose of the aircraft can't open up so they have to, they put the um, the cargo door on the rear fuselage of the of the aircraft which I think is actually pre uh, pretty decent um, so here we have this uh, the second antenna on top of the aircraft, and behind that we have the third antenna. Here we have the registration of the aircraft again, Bravo Dash One Eight Seven Seven One. Uh, below that we have the China Airlines uh, typeface, and then below that we have the Boeing Triple Seven freighter uh, Boeing font titles. So looking at the tail fin now, we have. Just gonna zoom in for you. Oh, well, I can't zoom in on, so that, that that's as that, that's as um close as, as as I can get. Here we have the the nicely done colours of the China Airlines tail fin. Of course, China Airlines do operate the triple seven three hundred ER in the passenger on the passenger network. So uh, really, I really like this livery. Of course, I also have the A three thirty in the Skyteam livery, and I also have um. 
the A350 by Phoenix Models. If anyone wants me to do a review of either of those models, do let me know in the comments and I'll, and I'll gladly do it for you. So here, here we have uh, the flower which of uh, Taiwan, which is the, called the Plum uh, plum Blossom. Of course, it's not the, like the blossom seen in, uh, uh, known in Japan. It's uh, the, the Plum Blossom, which is, uh, the, I think it's the, the national symbol of, um, of Taiwan. I uh, could be incorrect. Uh, do let me know in the comments below if I if I'm incorrect on that. Um, but moving down again, we have the horizontal stabilizers of the Boeing Triple Seven. Here and here, and then at the end here we have the um, the APU, the auxiliary power unit. So now rotating the aircraft around, just going to zoom out just momentarily and show you the other side of the aircraft. Not not really that difference in terms of uh, details um, the only real difference is if I was actually to show you up close uh, just here we have you may be able to see just at the end of my thumb there in the middle of the shot there we have a a another cargo door the forward car car cargo compartment there at the rear of the aircraft just here at the end of my thumb we have the baggage um, sorry the rear cargo compartment and there's another one um, and then on the, on the end of the wing, just here, if I'm able to, it's there, maybe, if I'm able to, to, there it is, that's the, uh, the green navigation light, and to the left of that is the, um, the strobe light. And, uh, may, may as well show you the intake of the engines, very, very nicely done. Of course, this is uh, the JC JC mold. Um, very very nicely done. I do have this mold on the EVA triple seven. So if you want to go ahead and check out the review I did, did on that top right corner, uh, you can you're more than welcome to go and check that out. There's the other engine. Very very nicely done. Um, I absolutely love this mold. So uh, showing you the the under, under the bottom of the aircraft just briefly. If I'm able to. Uh, pick it up there we have the the nose gear door and the nose gear itself I believe uh, that there's some like air vents or or something on the bottom of the aircraft here we have the beacon light and the stand hole and the two uh, I believe they are air vents as well nicely detailed um, gear doors and right in the middle of the shot just here just there at the end of my thumb is the uh, the the red rectangle for the RAT, the Ram Air Turbine that is used when um, the aircraft is in uh, testing. And there we have the Gemini Jets logo. Uh, nicely detailed on the bottom of the GE90 engine. Um, and there's the wing. If I'm able to... That's actually a better shot. And then here's the other side of... of the wing with the, uh, the registration Bravo-18771 and then we have there's no there's no uh, antennas on the bottom of the aircraft which I believe it's actually meant to have um, and then right in the shot in the middle of the shot there we have the entrance way for the um, the APU so showing you the uh, the gears these gears do um, Fortunately, tilt very nicely done, and they do roll. Um, they do indeed roll, and that's basically the the showcasing of this beautiful, beautiful model. So, if you are based in, let's say, I know this aircraft operates to San Francisco and uh, Los Angeles. I also know, I believe, it goes to Chicago as well. And I know it goes to, to Christchurch and also Auckland, I believe. So if, if you're located in any of those of those locations or you're a collector of, of um, Far Eastern Airlines or Asian Airlines of, um, of Asia, then I definitely, definitely um, recommend getting this model for your collection. Um, even if you're a fan of China Airlines or you're a fan of, of freighter aircraft, or if, if you're just really liking the look of this model, then I'd definitely um, suggest getting it. 
Um, out of 10, of course, I can't really rate it a, a perfect 10. No model is, is absolutely perfect if, uh, due to um, maybe if the aircraft is, is, is licensed or is it or um, some minor details. For me, if I was if I were to be nitpicky about the model, I would say that um, maybe if if Gemini jets may uh, put uh, like antennas on the bottom of the of the aircraft because the aircraft I believe does have um, antennas on the bottom. Uh, if they, maybe if, maybe they don't due, due to the aircraft being afraid of, but I'm pretty sure um, all the aircraft have antennas on the bottom of the aircraft. Um, so if you want to go and, and check out my social handles, I do have uh, Instagram. Um, go and check out my 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 airport account. Of course, the airport is in the background of the video here. Um, what I do on there is I showcase photos of my uh, of my model collection. Um, I host live streams of unboxings or and uh, release announcements, and also now I've I started a, a new series um, where I share a live stream with someone, and and share the experience of doing a live stream, um, and I also put uh, polls onto my Insta onto my Instagram stories so I so I I can um, be asked questions like a, like a questionnaire Q and A. Or whether um, so, then I can see what models people want to see on my airport. Uh, if you want to go and check that out, first link in the in the description below. Um, below that is the Instagram handle for my livery account, SJ Livery Designs. That's where I showcase my livery designs, my concept livery designs that I make on Adobe Photoshop um, on my laptop. If you want to go check that out, second link in the description below. Below that. Um, is uh, going to give a, a quick shout out to my mate Alexi from Alexi Airport. He has recently started a, a YouTube channel, um, so go ahead and, and check uh, his YouTube channel out in the description below. Of course, there will be a, a card in the top right corner um, linking you to his new channel, so go ahead and check that out. Also, go check, check his Instagram account, his, that will also be in the description below as well. Um, so if you want to come and come along and join a Discord server based around about around aviation, the Global Aviation Alliance, I'm in there, and so is a whole bunch of avid av geeks. Do come along and um, join. What we do on there, we talk about everything model planes, and we also talk about aircraft as well. All the all the avionics about aviation, our favorite airlines, our favorite flight experiences. Um, model releases. We talk about deliveries of aircraft, our favourite liveries. Uh, basically, anything you could talk, talk, think about aviation. Do come along and join it. If you want to come and do that, do let me know in the comments below, and I will go and I will definitely pass you on to one of the four admins so that your, your that your arrival can be processed. So the uh, social handles that I'm currently working on, I I'm slowly but surely developing my uh, my website for my for my airport. Um, working on a Patreon account for my brand, the uh, Astro Productions, and I'm slowly but surely um, pondering about whether I should do a TikTok or not. What what I want to do on TikTok is but is not like do the, all the dances and everything, but basically just you know showcase my, my model my model is in, in a different way that I do on my Instagram account. Um, so yeah, so that, that that's basically everything for the video. So do, do let me know what you thought about thought about the video in the com in the comments below. Do subscribe if you're new. Turn that bell icon next to the subscribe button uh, for f future not notifications. I've got another video coming out very very shortly of another triple seven. So do do come along and check that out. Also let, um, like the video if if you enjoyed it. Do sh share the video to your friends. Uh, and let's, like I said at the beginning of the video, let's get some support going for the channel as I'm um, starting to ramp things up again. Uh, now, now I've been absent for for a few for a few weeks or a few, maybe even a month or so, but I'm I'm I've got a lot of models coming out, uh, model reviews coming out. I've got a, a few models on the way as well. I've got the Antonov A two one two four by Gemini Jets, the Rex Airlines. 737 by Gemini Jets and also the Royal Australian Air Force um, 737, uh, basically the, the P8 Poseidon. Um, all of those were released in the June release by Gemini Jets, so really, really excited to um, to do a, do a review of the Antonov, which will be coming as soon as the aircraft arrives at my, um, at my 
in my location. So on, on the left hand side is my most recent review which was of the Qantas A380 by uh, Phoenix Models. On the, right, on the right hand side is the full playlist of model reviews that I've done. In the middle is where you subscribe. But until next time, fly safe, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.